Welcome to St. Andrew Presbyterian Church of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are and I am so pleased that you have chosen and joined with us today and worship together. And today, I'm your liturgy and welcomer and preacher today because we have snow in last week and until today. So we have a very limited people in here and I'm the only one to worship and to guide us today. And please do not turn off or go ahead and think about I'm a long YouTube channel because I'm always there because of our weather and snow. Please understand this week. So may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ with you and the state of United States and the someone who is suffering in this winter storm. Now let us prepare our hearts and mind to worship our Almighty God as we receive this morning's prelude. Please join with me, call to worship this morning. Happy are those whose sins are forgiven. Happy are those whose sins are cast away. Rejoice in the Lord, be glad. Sing out, shout for joy. Bless the Lord, O my soul.
Please join with me, call to confession and silent prayers. Let us call upon the mercies of God, who creates and redeems us. God of creation, at times we feel overwhelmed by the evil that exists in this world. At times we feel indifferent to the operations that scars the lives of countless of your people. At times we love hope that goodness and righteousness will prevail. Forgive our empathy, our inattention, our unbelief. Remind us of your strong desire to deliver us from evil in Jesus' name. Assurance of God's pardon. God spoke and called all things good. Only say the word, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Peace. Peace, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Christ be with you. May the peace of Christ be with you. Amen. 
with you. Peace be with you from California. Peace be with you. Okay. Hi there. Peace Christ, Christ be with you. Our reading today is from 1 Peter, chapter 3, verses 18 through 22. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. And the New Testament reading of this week is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verse 12 and 13. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beast, and the angels wait on him. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Last Wednesday, February 17th was the Ash Wednesday. It is the day of the beginning of Lent, the start point of 40 days of remembering Jesus, and the time of the Christian to think about Christ's suffering, death, and rising. However, some of the states, including Oklahoma, had record-breaking low temperature with a winter icy storm in these days, and it caused this beginning and important Christian day had to skip or reduce it. In our church today, because of weather and load condition, we decided to record worship with limited people and time. And this happening made me to think about and remember the 11 years ago, the day of when I moved from Seattle, Washington to Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was January of 2010, the winter time, and I remember the road condition and temperature was so awful. Friends of us often called me to change the time of traveling, but my school will just start 12 days later. We only have 12 days to driving from Seattle, Washington, to Tulsa, Oklahoma. We don't have much time. But we also don't have much experience of long driving, moving either. After past ice snow highway of California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. And finally, the time of arriving into Oklahoma Highway, I-40 East. It was the middle of the night. I was so happy and want to feel the air of Oklahoma. We did all this long suffering driving. Even everyone said it is impossible. 
So I opened the car door and got out of the car. Then I felt piercing cold on my cheek. In last 12 days of this trip, we always had unwelcoming mate with us. And this time, the moment I finally arrived at Oklahoma, we have this unwelcoming mate again. What is this? Snow. I heard Oklahoma thunderstorm or tornado, but snow? This snow seemed just beginning in Oklahoma that day. And until we finally arrive at Tulsa, we continue to see this white devil all around us. And when we finally arrive at Tulsa, road was frozen and of course snow, and the school opened delayed. And we have to find out our apartment in 1909, minus 8 Celsius temperature with strong wind and snow. However, even I have this experience of cold and snow. This time of winter storm is still very difficult and hard to me. Every morning, I wake up and went out to clean and breaking the icy snow near my car and house. After two hours of this labor, I saw same picture and view of white near and around my car and house. And I can hear the sound of breaking ice clocking the car engine and complains of blackout or stopping water. Imagine about no electricity in minus 2.2 Fahrenheit, minus 19 Celsius degree weather. The TV and weather reports continue to warn the people from one week ago. But people were not listening or too much pay attention deeply. Maybe this warning is not different than usual. Maybe they just speak it overly seriously. So the broadcaster may can have more attention and be worse. However, this time, the result is very different than people think and people are still in very difficult situation. I want to ask you too about this question. Then how do you prepare the rent this year? Rent to us, Christian, is maybe the same normal date like some of the day of Tuesday or some of the months of March. Maybe during these 40 days of remember the Christ's suffering and death, we may enjoy it or not. Maybe some of Christian talk it too much seriously or overly. Or maybe it sounds like too much traditional or catholicly. So we Protestants don't need to follow it. Today the sermon scripture, Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 12, talks us the happening right after Jesus heard God's voice. Mark is the student of Peter, and he heard many miracles and stories about Jesus. Gospel of Mark is based on Peter's story and his experience of Jesus. And Mark is the writer of that story. 
the period of the mark decide to following Jesus. It is the period of Emperor Nero. Tiberius Claudius Nero Demetrius Caesar. The well-known emperor of tyranny and persecute of Christianity. Emperor Nero hates Christians so much. Maybe you heard this story. So he point out Christian is the Rome's great fire incendiary. And it made the beginning of massive murder, killing, and persecution of Christian. In this persecution, Mark's former ministry partner, Paul, and Mark's teacher, Peter, was imprisoned and killed. Mark is writing the Gospel of Mark in this period. So his writing has to use strong expression of witnessing how the Christian keep their faith in persecution and how they desperate to for depending their faith. Mark also wants to put the hope in his gospel to encouraging Christians to abide in the faith. Even the result of faith is death. Mark chapter 1 verse 11 says, And the voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. However, Mark verse 12, just next verse says, And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. The Spirit, Holy Spirit, immediately drive Jesus out into the wilderness. We have to think about the word drive out here. In Gospel of Matthew and Luke use lead up or lead by Holy Spirit for describing the Jesus temptation beginning. But only Mark used strong word drive out here. Drive out is the word ekbele in Greek. Ekbele is the meaning of throw out in outside, the outside of God's sight. Christian in the period of Emperor Nero maybe felt same feeling of throw out from God. When they accept Christ as their Lord, and they are no more afraid of death in the beginning. However, the persecution is getting worse, and their brothers and sisters are keep captured by Roman soldiers. When they sleep and wake up, they cannot find their friends around them. They, can, they could not hear any updates or news after for a while. Then they found their brothers and sisters in Colosseum with the body torn and slithered from wild animals. And that is the final memory of their loved one. Mark wanted to say Jesus also had the same suffering and experience using the word drive out. Jesus also knew and had the same suffering that early Christian had. So he can save and heal their desperate and scary lives. In Gospel of Mark, verse 13 says, and he was with the wild beast, and the angels wait on him. Jesus also with the wild animals, which the early Christians result of their faith, and we'll see in Colosseum. 
Jesus was not only starting his ministry easily like early Christian, but also he had the suffering for keeping his faith like early Christian did. Because Jesus had the suffering and persecution, he can lead him all over Christians' suffering, death, and pain. And Jesus raised from the death, not only dead body, but all the suffering, pain, and difficulties. And the result of this faithful journey, according to Mark, say, the angels wait on him. The glory, the crown, and the place in the heaven. On Wesh Wednesday, Christians draw cross on their forehead and saying, Remember, we came from the ash and will be back to ash. In this ritual, ash is a symbol of a human's finite life. But there are other meanings of this ash in the Bible. I will talk some of the Bible verse today. In 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 19 says, Timur put ashes on her head and tore the long love that she was wearing. The ash here is an expression of Timur's deepest sorrow. In Luke chapter 10, verse 13, they would have repented long ago, sitting in shark clothes and ashes. Here, Ash is the expression of dependence of sin. So, the Ashy Wednesday Ash is a remembering of a human's beginning and finite life, and the life is belong to God, and the deepest sorrow of Christ's death and sacrifice for early Christian and even us, and dependence of our weakness and confess our sins to Jesus who know our pain and sorrow. In these 40 days of Lent, I want to prepare yourself for remembering the death of Christ and rising from dead, which into our lives. The Book of Common Worship mentioned the season of Lent is a time for growth in faith. Through prayer, spiritual discipline, and self-examination in preparation for the commemoration of the dying and rising of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bible also mentioned many special meaning of these 40 days. Why 40 days? The 40 days of Noah's flooding, Genesis chapter 7, 12. The 40 days of Moses waiting to receive the law from God in Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter 24, verse 18. And Moses' fasting days for all Christians was 40. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse, 11, verse 18. Elijah, when he is in depression of his face, he had 40 days of trip on Mount Horeb, and he met the God. 1 King chapter 19, 8. Jonah cries out 40 days of Nineveh's repentance. Jonah chapter 3, verse 4. Jesus had his temptation in deserts 40 days. Matthew chapter 4, verse 2. Mark chapter 1 verse 13, Luke chapter 4 verse 2, and the 40 days of meeting, when Jesus rising from death to meet his people before he ascending to heaven. Act chapter 1 verse 3. So 40 days, without counting Sunday, 
because Sunday is celebration of the Lord's death and you know, rising, and it is the Lord's day. So we are not counting Sunday in these 40 days. And this 40 days is the period of judgment, temptation, or, and preparing. Not only to us, but also prophet, readers, and Jesus. Please remember, Jesus knows your difficult, your circumstance and situation. He also in the field before, and Jesus also in the difficulties. And that Jesus, that Jesus, rising from the suffering and crucifixion. And the rent is the time of season that we have to remember and prepare ourselves that this Jesus is our only hope and our faith and our strong foundation. In these 40 days, you may remember the Christ by read the Bible, pray, repent, do fasting, or help others. It is time for looking back your life and be preparing Jesus is your Lord. I hope you do well this preparing, not at the winter storm we have or snow. Do prepare well and much better than that so you can meet Jesus in person and accept to him as the only hope of in this pandemic, in this difficult and messed world. Let us pray, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we give our gratitude for your protection and caring even in these very cold days and from winter storms. In our daily lives, we have many happenings that we still cannot expect or prepare. But you always keep us in safe even we are not realized. Thank you, Lord for giving us your grace and peace in these many difficult times. We gather to pray that in these 40 days of Lent, we need your guidance and protection for our lives, but especially for our soul, giving us the time for thinking more about you, so we also join your time of preparation suffering, and resurrection. In Christ's name I pray. Amen.
we all are people of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And please pray for your neighbor and your friend who is still in this winter storm and who is still in suffering about snow. They are all Christ's son and daughter, and we should take care of them. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and communion, and fellowship of our Holy Spirit be with you all, this day, now, and forever. Amen. <laughs>